So we're at the Allrad Alban Toyota 2021 with Leichbau. And here we have yeah. the company. Yeah, I'm uh, Nils Katin from uh, the Offroad Leichbau Manufacture. We are a company from Berlin focused on really lightweight uh, vehicles. So we're building complete cabins for vehicles, uh, this especially for the Unimog. And yeah, other specialty is the lightweight of the car because it's a uh, complete cam fiber monocoque. And so we're going not only making the complete hull out of the cam fiber, but also the complete interior. So it's really lightweight. We are talking about 750 kilograms for the complete cabin with interior, with batteries, electric, with uh, washer dryer combination, uh, heated, heated floor, everything. So 750 every, kilograms? Yes. Wow. So, okay. so the, em the empty cabin, so only the hull is 225 kilograms. Okay, but this is a, this truck can hold a, a lot more weight. Yeah, right? the the truck itself weighs around uh, six tons, but it's weighted for 8.8 .8 tons, so it could carry up to 2.8 tons. Okay. Uh, so we have like two tons. Yeah. So the uh, big advantage of the lightness is just. Uh, we going have, off in the desert, or what's the big advantage yeah, of so the lightweight? Yeah, we have two big uh, advantages. So first one is, especially in Germany or Europe, it's uh, the size class, the weight class we are into. So we are, uh, in the 7.5 ton class, mm -hmm. so it means it's much easier to drive. You are not limited uh, to the 80 kilometers an hour speed limit. Um, so it's. Yeah, in a lot of uh, bridges in countries with not a not good infrastructure, there are weight limits on bridges, something like that. And then there's yeah, the off-road capability is much higher because you have less, much, much less mass you can carry around, especially in uh, soft sand, it's a huge advantage. Awesome, great. So this is uh, fully made out of carbon in Berlin, you said? Yes, we are in Berlin. Berlin. So maybe we can do a walk around this truck. You yeah, can sure. tell us about, the, the, of course, the Unimog and the platform, and, but then we can go inside as well. Yeah, we can have a look. So, yeah. So this is so, yeah. all carbon fiber. You know, it's all, all carbon fiber here. It's, in the lower part, it's visible carbon fiber, and then uh, on top, it's yeah just painted. Yeah. So underneath, it's everything carbon fiber. Yeah. The, so, okay, the, the chassis is uh, yeah, standard Unimog U4023, so the new model. Um, it uh, has the, the larger tires with the 395 uh, and 20-inch rims on it. There's a, a beadlock rim, so it's a beadlock uh, system inside, so you can drive with uh, zero pressure in the tire. And we have a central tire inflation system. So you can adjust the tire pressure from inside the cabin while driving, especially in soft sand. You can just lower the pressure and then raise it back. Yeah. So maybe we can walk around and you tell yeah. us uh, yeah. some more. So this is a Mercedes Unimog. Yeah. So is this something uh, you can buy brand new from Mercedes and bring to you, or how does that work? Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Mostly you can buy this vehicle when you mostly not from Mercedes, uh, Mercedes because. Mercedes don't really sell them to, uh, yeah, to a single person. But uh, this one is from Helget, so it's uh, someone who, yeah, modifies the Unimogs itself a bit. Something like the sandwich inflation system comes from them, and a few of the modifications in the interior. Okay. Uh, because the Unimog itself, even if it's quite an expensive vehicle, don't have any. Uh, comfortable features, so you okay. you don't get any uh, infotainment system, nothing okay. in there, uh, even if it's a 200,000 euro vehicle. Okay. Because it's made to be like a work truck. Uh, yeah, or it's or? yeah, it's okay. only a work truck. Okay. You know, you can see uh, the Cam Fiber uh, diesel tanks, so they are made from us as well. So we are a certified uh, tank manufacturer. So can build these in any size uh, you want. So they are uh, a bit lighter than the steel ones, but they're extremely strong. So you can not, so we are building these not really for the lightweight factor. They're a bit lighter, but the real advantage of them, they're much tougher than the steel ones. Because it's uh, not only carbon fiber, it's a uh, carbon fiber aramide uh, mixture. So inside it's uh, Kevlar. So same material that built like the bulletproof rests from okay. yeah. everything. 
And how many liters of diesel is this now? Uh, this is, each one is uh, around 180 liters. 180 liters. Okay. So, but these are, yeah, customer specification. You can do more or less, more however, or less. whatever the customer wants. Great. And about how much effort and hours is it to make? Because carbon fiber, you know, in F1 racing and that you hear yeah. it's such labor intensive. How many hours does it take to make something like this? Because I imagine you you have to make the molds, you have to yeah. do all this manual yeah, labor. Yeah, uh, it takes around nine months to build. Uh, yeah, it's hard to say how much hours these are because they are yeah, not only one person uh, okay. working on this, same time. Yeah. Yeah, so in hours, not not sure. But let's say it. nine months to make, yeah. if, if we order this. You know, if you months. order this, is nine months building period and then, okay, the next yeah, production slot would be today in March next year. Yeah. So if you would order one today, you would get it in end of next year. Okay. And can this be sold, uh, can this be bought by anyone anywhere in the world or is this specific for German homologation or European homologation? Uh, How does that work? It's, yeah, it's, this one is for German or the European Union yeah. communication, um, but uh, we can sell them anywhere in the world. It's, uh, yeah, it, yeah, you can sell them like, everywhere. So you can buy them and it's, more from the base model or the base vehicle um, but some customer bring their cars from all over the world to us we build the cabin and they ship it back out take it back okay yeah. great we, let's uh, see inside yeah we can have a look inside okay so maybe before this is your spare tire yeah this is a spare tire it's yeah, right on the back of the car, so uh, even if you are like t uh, departing and you hit something uh, with the wheel of the car, it's, it's a tire, so it's not where you don't damage anything. Mm -hmm. And there's a small winch which is operated from here. You can see uh, the winch to raise and lower uh, the tire. Okay. So it's really comfortable and easy uh, to get it down there and the the old one up again. Okay, good, good. Yeah. good. Okay. So okay. Uh, while we're waiting, um, yeah. are you allowed to mention like a, a rough cost for something like this or is uh, it... Uh, yeah, a rough cost for the whole vehicle is around half a million euros. And then it depends on what they add with yeah, what, what tanks they add. and electrics and batteries. It's more yeah, especially like the so visible carbon fiber parts are quite expensive because sure, it, it sure. takes a lot of effort to, yeah. to get them wide. And I guess this can be is custom made for anybody. Yeah, it's completely custom made. Custom made. So okay. even uh, the, the form, the shape, size of the uh, cabin is completely custom. So you can order them with everything. If you want to have like rounded edges, we can do this. No problem. Any and colors, everything is completely yes. custom. So, so that's pro probably also one of the reasons why it's more expensive. Yeah, sure. If you need a custom piece, you have to make a custom mold. Yeah, uh, yeah, for that's sure. That's going to be uh, yeah, obviously a lot of effort, right? Yeah. 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 Whereas if you, and do you sell a standard one as well, which is, let's say, less expensive, but it's already no, the, the molds are yeah, done. And yeah, you just this is like the standard one. Also, this is a without the carbon, so this will become fiber, but the standard one is around half a million euros. Okay. So the, with the vehicle, the cabin alone is 280 to 300,000. Depends on size, of course, and complexity. Can yeah, get way up, but okay, great. Yeah, let's uh, yeah. let's let's take a look. Yeah. It's not really finished inside here. You can see so yeah. you can see the like naked uh, outside wall there. And then here it's uh, with uh, the isolation on top of it. And then you can add, uh, like in the kitchen, we have a yeah, small piece of carbon fiber which is painted, but there are going to be some uh, Alcantara or some other, other fabric, but it's customer specification on the roof and on the walls. So, so just so I understand, this back part, this is carbon fiber in the back? Yes, it's all carbon okay, fiber. Okay, so we can see here how you build it up. You have carbon fiber yes. there, then you have this black insulation, Genos, insulation. and then you put the wall Genos, panels. It's like, yeah, just for the visibility. Yeah. And here it's easy to use, so it's a painted one, no, no fabric, uh, fabric. And the other one is going to be uh, yeah, a white 
fabric, but it's customer specification okay. how you want it. But what you can see, uh, what's in the cam fiber, it's not only because it's lightweight, but we are quite free in the in the form. So everything, every module in here is like one piece. So you have no cuts here. Is this uh, carbon fiber? Too? Yeah. Okay, it's just painted. It's yeah, it's just painted. Okay, it looks. So. Uh, so I don't see the weave. That's just the paint. Yeah, sparkles, yeah, huh? yeah, it's a paint. So you have okay. these. Uh, this one is uh, one of the yeah, ju just warm materials. So oh, yeah. and you have these white um, uh, gel coats, as mm -hmm. it's called, to you know to eliminate the uh, weave, so you don't have just a smooth surface, and then you can painted yeah. in every color you want. And, and in between you just have foam just for... Uh, yeah, no. Here, here's the foam. Um, yeah. The floor and some of the interior parts are with a foam core. The exterior is completely with a um, honeycomb uh, core. Okay, because you're trying to get insulation value. Is that, uh, is that the reason? It's honeycomb because you have, uh, you're trying to get insulation. It's, it's honeycomb because you're trying to get insulation. And not, uh, not only for insulation, but mostly for weight reasons. Because okay. the honeycomb is much lighter than the foam. So it's around 60% uh, lighter. So it's quite a huge difference between the foam panels and the one with the, comb, uh, with the honeycomb. Okay, this is foam. This is it is foam. Yeah. It's like the heavy one. Heavy one, yeah. But yeah. if it was only carbon fiber, then there's no insulation, right? It's yeah. going to be too cold. Yeah, the cam fiber yeah. itself is yeah. not good insulation. So the, the foam or the uh, honeycomb is insulation. Then you add in the inside this uh, yeah, additional insulation. Okay. What is the insulation? The R value? You, uh, in North America, we call it R value. But yeah, you R, have R value is about uh, 0 0.02 to 0 0.1. It depends a bit on uh, yeah, how it's laid because it's handcrafted, so it depends a bit how good the vacuum uh, So the most, the larger areas are more around 2.0.02 uh, uh, and everything where it's uh, two pieces joined together, mm -hmm. uh, that gets uh, yeah, a bit more or a bit higher. So it's our value. Um, I'm used to in, in North America, R12 or R20, this is, is this the same? In Germany, these R numbers or uh, are they different? I'm not sure. Okay, that's it's used in a different way. Okay, so but R uh, the R value here, what does it mean in terms of the insulation uh, in winter? Does, is it good for winter or what does it mean? Uh, yeah, it's uh, quite good for winter. Uh, it means well, the R value here it means uh, what per uh, square meter. Okay. So how much energy it can transfer in a I think it's in one minute or one hour. I, I'm not sure about that, but it's yeah how much energy gets lost or transferred in or out especially okay. if it's cold or mm -hmm. hot outside okay yeah. and behind you you have uh, the fridge yeah uh, that's, yeah the, 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 the kitchen there, uh, the fridge can be down there uh, oh, yeah, un the underneath the, uh, uh, yeah oh. so no. this will be the fridge uh, this, no, is this is a sink this is not no. carbon fiber no no this, this, this is no this is the board part uh, yeah. we have cast with uh, carbon fiber things but it's customer specification yeah. then uh, you have the cook cooktop uh, induction cooktop yeah. then you're going to be uh, like a flip up uh, part so yeah. you can use it as a yeah just work uh, work surface uh, but flip it up to use cooktop and have like protection uh, to the seating area mm. and then cool. here going to be the uh, fridge uh, underneath here just some drawers yeah. And the washer dryer combina combination. Is that what that is? The washer yeah, dryer? Yeah, this is a washer and dryer ah, combination. Okay. okay. Cool. And then back here we have uh, the toilet. On this side here? Yeah, on this side. Ah, oh, yes, I see it now. Yeah. So this one is also uh, carbon fiber. That's carbon fiber? Yeah. That's really the most expensive toilet <laughs> in the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and What's quite nice is everything here is really one piece, so it's ne so there's no gap. It's really easy to clean. It's quite tough. So yeah, and in the center where you are staying right now, it's going to be the shower. So you have a door which okay. is closing up the toilet, and it can double uh, to lock in this position yeah. here to uh, separate this as a shower. Ah, okay, very nice. And then this is the pass through to the fire cabin, huh? Yeah. Let's get a video here.
Yeah, the driving cabin is quite standard Unimog right now. How does it drive? Um, because I know with the, the portal axles, uh, your top speed is a little bit different. It's not like a normal truck, right? Uh, the top speed is 110 uh, kilometers an hour. With this axle, yes. standard axle. With this uh, tires, and uh, the car could go faster, but the tires are limited to okay. uh, 110. So the car would get around to 130. Just enough. Okay. Yeah, which is yeah. enough. Yeah. So oh. you, you don't really want to drive any faster than any Unimog. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's but enough. But good thing is everyone gets out of your way. Yeah. When you come and in behind them in this. Yeah, and even <laughs> if they don't, it's not your problem. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Uh, yeah, you're really, welcome. really interesting. Uh, in the description, I'll put the link to uh, Leichsbau in, in yeah. Berlin. Yeah. And uh, yeah, look them up. And uh, if you want something amazing like this, give uh, them a call. Yeah, we would love to. Super. Great. Thanks okay. very much. You're welcome.